everyone! Welcome back to our channel and today I'm going to tackle about managing ICT content using online platforms. And as you can see, I am here in Gusai Regional Science High School and I'm going to interview some students um, regarding about this topic. Let's go! So we have here one of the students in Gusai Regional Science High School. Hi! Can you please introduce yourself? Yes, hi! I'm Melissa. Yes. Hi Melissa! So, what for you are online platforms? So for me, online platforms is a set of internet internet-based technologies which provide tools in creating information for ICT content. Wow, that's great! And um, aside from that, what do you think are some of the benefits that online platforms, um, which online platforms is used to create ICT content? So, first, of course, it enables collaboration. And it also makes information available. Thank you, Nelisa. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we're going to ask another student. Okay, I'm another student. Hi. Hi. Hi, what's Hi, your sir. name? I'm Stacy. Hi, Stacy. So, what for you is an online platform? Um, online platform is especially developed platform for um, the design and development of teaching. Okay, so now we have interviewed two students are here and they were Nelisa and Stacy. And now, it's my turn to ask you, what are the purposes of these online platforms? That's right, both internet and internet host potential for the rapid dissemination of information to a worldwide workforce. And another purpose is that information is made available to every person. So aside from that, we also have specifications for online platforms. And here, we have six specifications. First one is the search engine. Next is the e-commerce, music video, music and video sharing, social network, collaborative, and lastly, the learning platform. Hi! So can you give us one of the six specifications of online platforms? One is e-commerce platform. What about this e-commerce platform? E-commerce platform is more like um, online transaction e-commerce. For short, like business. Can you give us an example of this? Thank you very much. Hi. Hi. So can you give us one of the six specifications of online platforms? Learning platform. So, what is the definition of this learning platform? Learning platform is an online learning facility that can be used by teachers and also by students to submit their output and say. Um, can you give us an example of it? Blackboard. Okay, so lastly, we have here the commonly used applications for ICT content development. We have the blogs, Google Apps, Office 365, and the Wix or WordPress. And guys, welcome back to the second part of my vlog. And in this part, I'm going to introduce to you the basic web design principles and elements. Okay, so first and foremost, let us talk about the design elements. And we're going to start by defining it. Design elements are components or parts which can be defined in any visual design or work of art. They are the structure of work and can carry a wide variety of messages. So aside from these design elements, you also have 11 design principles, namely the balance, proportion, perspective, emphasis, movement, pattern, repetition, rhythm, variety, harmony, and lastly, unity. Okay, so that's all for this vlog. And thank you very much for watching. And please subscribe and visit us on this channel for more of our upcoming videos. Thank you and bye!